Hey guys, from the Night here, bringing you another episode of The Land of Ethereal. And this is going to be a very, very short episode as compared to my normal 20 minute episodes. I'm really bad at 20 minutes, I'm sorry guys. I promise in the future I'm going to try to shorten them. But this episode is just nothing but a prank. I have a big project that I'm working on currently, which is taking a little bit longer to build because it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. It's a lot more involved project than I originally anticipated. I was originally going to record doing it, but it's taking a lot more resources and a lot more time. If I was to record an episode, I would have and keep it at a moderate time, like let's say 15 minutes. The time, even if I speed it up into a speed build, the time would be like it would expand to like six episodes with the amount of time I spent on it so far, and it's not even halfway finished. So I will do a video when I have it I'll progress a little more on this project, but for now, I want to do a prank. And there is a particular person I want to do a prank on. Be there was a miscommunication, I will say. And that's being a bit nice. Um, I was originally... we. Me and CM Brockman had made some plans to do some recording on this server. And, well, to say it shortly, I feel like he stood me up. Essentially, we agreed that he was he had a busy schedule, so we didn't agree on a time. We said whenever he was available. So in response to that, I kept my schedule open all day today. And, well... Needless to say, he never contacted me. And now, this has happened in the past, and it's happened with other people. Uh, I can understand. Things happen. Family, maybe. Uh, maybe you just forgot. I don't know. But this is not the first time he's done this. Keep in mind. Uh, this is one of many times. However, there's this fancy little app called Discord, which I had kept open all day today is because I don't usually have notifications turned on so I wanted to make sure if he contacted me I won't miss it because I know he has a tight schedule so I want to make sure I was right there whenever he was ready and the funny thing about discord is it shows what games you're playing so I saw him come on today playing some Rainbow Six some golf with friends and seven days to die even steam told me a couple of those games he was playing fancy that all those games just happen to be games he ha he records yet he never contacted me about recording on the server today and I'm a very understanding guy but as it so happened I had a very crappy night last night which left me to go to bed at around 5 a.m. And, to add to that, I woke up early because I didn't know when he would be available. So I wanted to make sure I had open availability all day, whenever. So I had only gone like four to possibly six, if you count the little small naps, which I kept checking my phone early in the morning and then taking a small five minute nap. Possibly six hours of sleep. And that's being generous. And all he, all he had to do was just send me a small little message that he might not be able to record, like, on the server today, or he didn't want to record on the server today, and it would have been, this would all be good understanding, but instead, I got nothing. He didn't say a word, so I spent the entire day making sure I was available, and nothing happened today. There was nothing productive on my end. I got some recording done. I, I managed to edit a video, so I can't say there's nothing productive, I guess. But, in short, my I feel like my day was just completely wasted, and I was able to confirm that he was at least playing games, possibly recording. But he was at least playing games, and he had optimal opportunity. Optimal is probably not the right word for it. But he had opportunity to at least message me that he wouldn't be able to record. So I feel like a bit, I feel a bit stood up here. 
And this is not the first time. So I'm going to go to sleep. And then I'm going to quickly go to his base. And let's see what damage we can do. Alright. Here we are at CM's base. Uh, he recently got pranked. Let's see if it's still... Nope, he fixed up his prank. Alright, he used to have a little pretty princess castle, but looks like he cleaned it up. Oh, not all the way up. He still has a pretty princess basement. But it looks like he started cleaning up his place. The cool thing is, CJ has been pranking him. So he's declared wo a civil war on the CJ. So, chances are, he's probably going to blame the prank originally on CJ, depending on when he gets on. And I'll probably get off scot-free for a short period, depending on when or if he watches my videos. And even then, I think I'll have a little bit of time of leeway because likely... Oh, there's a creeper there. Likely, he doesn't know where my base is. I have not shared my base location with anybody. Not that I'm trying to keep it a secret, it's just no one's asked. Although, I probably would keep it a secret now that I'm actually using the prank game. But, you know, the likelihood that he'll find my base before I'm finished with my project is probably a little slim. So, first things first, I'm going to start removing some of his stone pathway. Now, I'm not going to steal his blocks, and let me make sure I don't have any stone blocks in my inventory. I do not. That is great. So, I'm not going to steal his blocks. I will put them in a chest. I'm not that mean. But... For this prank to work, I am going to need some space. So, we'll leave some stone blocks around. And we'll start placing some dirt blocks around instead. So, but I don't I don't have the resources to go hardcore either, so it should be pretty easy for him to clean up. Basically, the goal is we're going to turn his entire front yard into a for forest. Very, like very inconvenient for him sure but it shouldn't be too hard to clean up in the end and it should be very easy to set up all right i should be running out of dirt blocks soon we can remove eight more so let's move eight right here I don't remember how much I moved there, so let's go ahead and place some. Oh, that was perfect. All right, let's grab this andesite before it despawns, and let's get everything into his chest. And let's see. Oh, he's, he's got actually things organized. Um, cobblestone materials. We'll put him in here, because I'm too lazy to try to find other stone resources. You'll find them. They're there. Oh, I guess I could throw them in stone and stone materials, but no, we're we're throwing them in here. This this will be an additional prank. We're 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 keeping his chest disorganized. Take that. Alright. Next phase. The saplings. And now let's put trees in the most inconvenient places possible. Uh, I don't remember if leaves will de will um, destroy his thing, so let's not try that. Let's try to carefully place them. They won't, actually. I think they... I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. Alright. So we have leaves. So let why don't we give him something to dig through and actually let's go ahead and grab our bone meal and start on these trees there we go oh that was perfect oh yeah oh yeah this is that's the way this is the way we want to do it oh yeah come on you know you want to Okay, this one's not going to grow. Okay, I guess we'll have to let the other trees grow naturally. So, let's throw a spruce right there. And hopefully everything grows in time for everything. And let's put some vines down. Actually, let's put some vines down in his house. Oh, I can't even get in now. I shouldn't have blocked his entrance so soon. 
Um, can we get in? All right, we can just barely get in. Let's let's give him a let's give him a bit of a jungle experience. Uh, can't for whatever reason I can't place a find there. Uh, what kind of blocks is he? Oh, oh, they're all stairs. That's why. Uh, right there, and it'll grow down into his face. Uh, right there, that will grow down. That will grow down. These will grow down. Hopefully. Boom. Has he got a solid block up there? Nope. Uh, put a vine here. Let's give him the full jungle experience. And the hope here is that he's close enough to spawn that he these things will grow naturally. Ooh. Ooh. See if we can put some up here. That's it. Turn it. Turn his entire front yard into a jungle. Put one there just for the lulls. Put one right here. Put one right here. One right there. That shouldn't interfere. Uh, why not? Why not? One more. Gotta make a perfect placement. Perfect. Alright. And now let's put some inconvenient leaves everywhere. Oh, and because I ran out of bone meal, I was gonna save some bone meal for the grass. You know what? You know what? Maybe he has a, maybe he has a few bones we can borrow for his own prank. That, that that would be cruel, but he's not going to use them, right? He's not going to use a few bones. Mob drops. Nope. Oh. Really? He doesn't have any bones? Does he, like, throw them everywhere? Flowers and leaves. Rares, tools, weapons, sapling seeds. Miscellaneous. Really? No bones? Food. I don't know why he would put bones in foods. Aha! I'll just... We'll be nice and borrow... How much is this? Eight? We'll borrow four. That should be enough. If he wants more bone meal, I can pay him back. But we'll borrow four. Whoop! Bloop. Bloop. And, uh, here maybe. Hmm, I want it more in his way. Like right here. Oh, that was not that good, but it, you guys get the picture. Anyway, that should do it for the prank. Let's take a good look at what we have done here. And that is not the right key. All right. We, yeah, we turned his the front of his face into a forest. I'm I'm happy about that. It's like it's just a small little thing for a small little issue. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have an idea for further pranks or if you want me to prank someone else on the server. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'm apparently starving, and I'm not sure if I have food. I think I ate my last mutton. This is very bad. I will see you guys all later. You all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.